What up, y'all? It's T-Char, and welcome back to Inscription. We lost the game last part, but the game looks to start right now. No new game button, just continue. Let's see where it leaves us off. Make sure I'll shank that like button. Hopefully, it leaves where I ended the episode. Here we go again. Oh, you would think it's episode one. Let's see if our theory is right, my dudes. And now we're in the deck, and Stout is gone. Rip Stout. He introduced something about bones. Let's see this. Another challenger. So remember, we have the two candles. Wait, this is sequential. Now the candles are on the desk. So this actually happens after the first player, which was me last episode. Okay, perhaps it is time. Here we go. Perhaps you can understand bones. So he's going to introduce a new mechanic here. This is crazy. So the resourceful opossum costs two bones. You can gain a bone when one of your creatures perish for any reason. So there's a second way to summon creatures now. Wait, stole it! <gasps> this is the same stone. Look, he's moving. Wait. St rip, rip stone, he's back? Wait, wait, let's see this. Oh, look, I got these emerged things. Don't use them. Maybe there's been a couple challenges in between first episode me and this right now. Let's put a squirrel. And then let's sacrifice... The squirrel for the stoat. Now I have a bone from the sacrificing of that. You will not lose it until it's spent or the battle ends. Okay, bro. I can't really do anything, so I will end the turn. Are you gonna kill me? He's gonna freak. Of course you. Rattler? I could summon the wolf, actually. So wait, let me get a squirrel. Bro, he has like an evolved, uh, that, that snake, adder, adder and rattler, but it doesn't have that ability. That was like a starter ability. So check it out. So we can summon the possum using the bones. We can summon the squirrel. Wait, is that your health? I could just freaking kill you. But F it. We're going to summon the wolf. I could summon the wolf over here and attack directly, but let's just get rid of the rattler, especially since another rattler. Okay. Um, I'll just have a freaking squirrel in hand and then end my turn. You dying over there, bro? You know what? I kind of wish... What the frick? Oh, he does three damage. I'm back to... I'm going to lose? What the hell is you? An airborne... Wait, mighty leap. A card bearing the sigil will block and... What is this? 273? Ow! What the hell? What the frick is all this? A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airport. Oh, he's freaking. He licks them. Okay, I see you, bro. I see you. So I can summon Squirrel. And you only have one health, so I should be able to kill you with Bullfrog. I might as well do that. But I do have a. I have so many bones. What the hell's going on there? Okay. He ended his turn doing nothing. Well, I can't really do anything. All right, we're done. So he's trying to teach me bones there. Okay, we're going on a whole new journey, y'all. Make no mistakes. Think smart. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Yo, F you, bruh. It's beside the safe. So this is something I noticed, my dudes. Shh. Okay, look at this. Look at this. We have a clock. What? She's gonna smack my ass. What the hell? Frick! This is what I noticed. Something just freaking moved there. This is what I noticed, okay? Right? Remember what Stout was saying last episode? We can find a way out of this cabin. There might be a way to escape this game without- Hi! Yep, is that the key? If I can get a key, I can open that. There might be a way to... Now there's a third candle? Was there always... Oh, he's like freaking closer. He's just gonna freaking charge up at me. And then this needs a key too, right? He's watching me, bro. He know He's testing me to see what I'm doing. He knows I'm doing... What the 
Something's in there. That's why I saw it moving. Huh! So, my dudes, I can mess with the safe. And then I can mess with this clock. Did we hear any... 273. But that wasn't a time. What is this? Squirrel beehive? I'm not sure what this is. Alright, well, oh, frick, what did it even say? My figurine. Oh, it's probably right here. Alright, bro, I got the figurine. I can't really think of a way to escape right now. Frick. But keep that in mind, bro. That knife is also curious. Alright. Let us continue. Oh, that's my figurine that I'm playing. So, the first player, he was recounting my journey. The second player... Are you not recounting something? We're legit playing. Okay, let's see. This, I get to pick a card, right? I kind of wish I can take stuff out of my deck. I would have been taking that old hag. The coyote. This is from the first episode. So, this is how he summoned it. The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? Four... Bro, I don't even... How am I going to get four freaking bones? Okay, we have coyote... Rattle the nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs. Once past its monstrous fangs. What? What is he talking about? And then we have a cockroach. The unkillable cockroach just returns to your hand after dying? Does that include sacrifices? When a car bearing a sigil perishes, a copy of it is Oh, but to summon it, you have to use four bones. So what the hell? That's so hard to summon. I'm taking the cockroach though, bro. I need I need those squirrel types. Man, can I mess with my dick? You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. Are you God? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my position. Now that he's... I'm effed. It's so freaking loud in my ears. I don't know anything. Oh! <laughs> so freaking scary. I can look like this too. He's always staring no matter where you go. Nah, bro. I don't know. I mean, I could look at this. That's a safe. Take a photo of this. A am I Joe? Is that not a safe? It's a game. There's a hidden game in this game. 273. He's gonna freaking slap my ass, bro. Oh my god. I can't open it now. I can't- I have to wait for him to be turned. I know the freaking combination. He's watching me. You think he's just- he just literally told me- You know what? We're gonna play the game for a bit. I need to find a moment where he's What the happened? Oh, I can look at my deck. Oh, this is my deck. Okay. I have wolf, opossum, stoat. Where's freaking Twangy? Bullfrog cockroach. So this is our only two sacrifice. I guess it's fine. Let's go pick up the backpack. Never use these items we about to get. A boulder. A boulder may help you get out of a hard place. A black goat. It's be it's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Three sacrifices. Obviously, the black goat is better, but I can't physically, I can't possibly use it. So if I sacrifice black goat, it counts as three or four, if you count the actual one too. I took the black goat. Feeling overburdened enough with three, full three items you carried on. That's a thing. If I come across another bag, I will get nothing if I don't clear my bag first. So, I, I should think about that too. Here we go. We got a boss coming here. What the hell's happening here, bro? 
just so casual? You're not gonna talk to me or anything? Porcupine and Coyote. So Porcupine, if you attack it, you lose a damage. And it has two health. That's better than I thought. Okay, so we can't summon Cockroach. We have a Squirrel. Okay, so we can summon the Bullfrog and attack directly. That's what we're gonna have to do. Now, what I'm curious is... How many bones do I really get? I think that was an okay spot to put it. You only get one bone, right? What the hell is that? What the hell did he put on the table? Okay, uh, end the turn. I'm not... Don't touch those. Okay. Oh, you can't... Frick, bro. I'm gonna draw a squirrel. Come on, we can't use our emergency. So here's the thing. Which one does more damage? You do more damage, Coyote. If I play... Turn off. What the hell? If I play the squirrel right here, even though I have nothing to sacrifice, I'll block his attack. So I only lose one this turn. And I'm only gonna deliver one. But when he dies, I'll be able to summon the possum. And maybe I can draw something good. If that makes sense. Frick. Okay, see? I kind of kept the balance still. So now... I have two bones. I have to draw the wolf. Let's go. So I summon possum. I should kill that coyote, right? The porcupine's gonna only do one damage. Okay, so we're gonna summon... Is that a human? Summon possum. Summon wolf. Something, Something's unusual. What the hell's this? Yeah. We're gonna put the wolf... Right here. I have two bones now. Okay, now Wolf will kill Coyote. Okay. Frick, can I see the scale for a sec? What the hell does that mean? I can only take two more? What do I have to do now? I don't have to do much, actually. Here's what I can do. I'll grab a squirrel. Hey, I know what to do! Maybe this isn't smart, because we have infinite squirrels, right? I'll play the squirrel right here, and I've blocked it now. Now if I attack, I'm going to tip the scales back in my favor. Yes, it's even. Bless, now I have three bones. I just got to do that again, bro. I'm about to be... I see the way this is going. I concede. You're so effed. You know how satisfying it is? I just want to win? Sitting there saying, I concede? You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match in the slow way. What do I get for accepting surrender? I want to whoop your ass. There must be a reason to show mercy. Well, F you, man. I thought he was going to give me secret, like a key. Why would he give me the key? He's trapped me here. I was so excited to pull his teeth out. Okay, we kept our items, but now... Wait, that means we can ignore that and get a fire. What the hell is that? Okay, we get a new deck card. We're doing good this time. Twangy! My Twangy card is so bad. I don't want Twangy, bro. That crap is so ass. Two sacrifices... Like, it's just wolf. Like, uh, my, my RNG lined up so horribly. It, it, it's pretty much wolf. I might as well get the actual wolf cub, but... I don't want another possum. I kind of like the wolf cub, but it has to survive a whole turn. But only needing one sacrifice is pretty good. I don't want freaking Twangy, bruh. I'm taking the wolf cub. Unless there's a story goodness to that. So I can... This increases my power by one. If I increase Wolf Cub's power, does it increase Wolf's power too? Or I can get the fire and I can merge like Bullfrog's ability with something. I don't really need that. I can merge po a cockroach with something. What if I merge cockroach with one of the simplest creatures possible? But if you take these pets, you have to fight something crazy. Man, if you if you can't merge cockroach, I'm gonna be so mad. Cause I have this setup so perfect. 
What the hell is this? I got them backwards. In the warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health. This one increases health, said one. <laughs> what kind of stout did I get this time? Why? I want to do wolf cub. I want to do wolf cub, but will it keep that health when it becomes a wolf? So you see, wolf cub has one health, and when it evolves, it gets two. So does it go to three and four? Please work. The survivors are right about the flames. They enhance the creature's health. Spotting a few survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf club. Okay, didn't kill it. I know they're gonna kill it one time. Now I have to fight this goon. This was the merge one. What the hell is that? It looked like a death trap. What is this bramble crap? Oh my, this is what screwed me up, is it not? What has he done? He has a wolf cub that blocks airborne creatures. I'm down, bro. I don't have airborne creatures. Why are my hands so close to my- Wolf Cub! Okay. Look how good Wolf Cub is. We're gonna have to test this. So we're gonna put Squirrel. Bullfrog or Wolf Cub? I wanna do Wolf Cub, but what if he tries to kill it? No, because he's gonna play it in the pre-section. So we'll put Wolf Cub here. And we'll attack. Oh, but I have so much health. I should have put it there. It's okay. Okay, scales in my favor. Oh god, he has the sparrow, but it's in the pre. It does work! He has four health now! I have a special one. Okay, think, think, think. I'm thinking we summon the bullfrog. So I'm gonna take a squirrel. We can put the squirrel here. He's gonna attack directly with that. I'm just kind of screwed. No, I'm not screwed. I'm gonna summon the bullfrog right here. Hey, you copy my sigil, bro? Now we're gonna kill the bullfrog. Let's go. Woo! Okay, he's gonna attack me, do one damage. Yep. Now we're gonna get a squirrel. Wait, what did you just put? A wolf cub. I, your wolf cub look at- Look at my sick wolf, bro. I don't know why Stout is so ass. We'll put the squirrel here, and then I could just make a wolf. Which I might as well, right? I'm thinking I might as well. I'm thinking, I don't know. It's also gonna give me a bunch of bones, right? I have like five bones. Okay, I won. Frick. Did I win? Oh my goodness. What the frick are the raindrops? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Do I only get to pick one? Do I wish to pay blood? A lot of blood. Or bones. I want a. I want one of these creatures. I think. If I could get a creature that only needs like one bone, I'd be so blessed. I think I want small blood creature. Who the freak is Casey? How many man do you take, bro? A random card with the cost of one. What were you expecting? is so ass. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the strikers... Are... <gasps> she has the porcupine effect. This isn't too bad. Oh, man. I, I still think that was the best idea. Okay, my bag is filled, so we can get the fireplace now. Wait. No, I'm not getting up. Go back. If you will ever stop looking at me, I'll get up. Stout, bro. Warmer creature by the fire and hence it's held to the... Oh, goodness. This well, I can do this to my freaking cub. But what if... What if they're gonna eat the cub? <laughs> He's warning me it's about to go bad. He's warning me. You know what? I could get the cub's health up to five. But... 
Come on, never put all your eggs in one basket. Let's sacrifice Casey and see if they eat her. Form fire, but Casey enhanced its health. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. I retreated with Casey. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we're going to the next one. It's not bad, because that's a porcupine, and I gave her four health now. Okay, we got a boss here, bro. We're making it further than last time. I also have my emergencies. Okay, wolf cub, and the boulder's blocking the cub, which is perfect. So I have a squirrel, and I have my wolf cub. This is so perfect. Oh, this is so perfect. Cockroach, I gotta reduce these, bro. Four bones is so ass. So, I don't really care for the stump. The stump also stops him from being able to summon stuff. So don't even mess with the stump. I'm saying we put the squirrel here. We put the wolf cub here. And then we do one damage. What's his health? Yeah, he's got an ass wolf cub. Okay. Okay, scales in my favor. He summoned a whole ass wolf. <gasps> that wolf is going to attack me and take out almost all my health. I'm gonna draw a squirrel. And I'm just gonna have to have an empty turn. But that wolf cub's about to evolve. Alright. Stop it, bro. End turn. F you, bro. Okay. How many bones I have? Only one. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, let's try one of these. Casey? I got Casey! Once he beats that boulder, I'm gonna replace it with Casey. But for now, bro, he's gonna kill my wolf next turn. This is so bad. But if I do the Casey crap, I'll get a second bone and I can summon the possum. Does, does this make sense? But I shouldn't do the Casey crap right now. But I'm just gonna die next turn if I keep this up. What am I thinking? What if I just do nothing? Did I, did I neglect to mention overkill damage? <gasps> you strike in a line! So I did two damage to the wolf and one damage and I Oh, I'm so smart. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries to the card behind the mangled course, which makes sense. In the wild, if two wolves are approaching, you can attack them both if they're in a straight line. <gasps> I'm so smart! Oh, Casey! Casey's coming home tonight! Stop it. Let's just draw this. Frick. Okay, so check it out. It's a bit weird, but we're gonna... We're gonna put Squirrel... It doesn't matter where we put it, but I'm just gonna put Squirrel here. Oh, I can summon Possum. How do When did I get that second bone? I don't remember. We're gonna summon Casey right here. Okay? So when he attack Casey, she's gonna be able to take a hit and also screw up one of his health, which he's already gonna die. Now what I'm scared about is, is he gonna just start gold mining my crap again? Wait a sec. Can I just kill it? No, I can't. That's two health. Okay, then I can summon Possum right here, and I can attack. Do not screw me. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. So I get rewards. Where are the teeth? Here's the teeth. Okay, so he didn't screw me over. Look, we're in a whole new section. Are you gonna stop staring at me? He will legit just kill me right away if I try to open this safe. There could be a rare Yu-Gi-Oh card in there. Beanie? Beehive. Look out for a ton- Why are there three hands on this clock? Wait, what was the photo I took? The photo could also work for this. The photo said 273. You could. You could put 273 on this as well. But it's definitely for this. I can't. I can't yet. It does. It just doesn't. You have to use logic. Right? It doesn't make sense. He's watching us right now. Let's go to the the wiggler crap. What is this? 
You were stopped. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. Well, I could sell you some teeth. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Cared to look at me, pelts? Why you gotta be the? What the hell just happened? Wait, rabbit pelt. What is this? Cause I thought I pushed a button. I thought I bought something. See the quality? Oh, I'm not, bruh! I try to click on this. So I have four teeth. I can get wolf pelt, golden pelt. Well, if I'm gonna lose in this game, I might as well spend them all right now. Did it replace my freaking? The thank you for your business. The man assures you the value of the pelt. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that trader. The trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay, so I gotta take this to the trader. Okay, so it's good I bought the big one. Who the trader? Look, I got these pelts. I better not be able to draw them, bro. That would be horrific. All right, by the way, are you, are you gonna stop looking at... Wait. I can increase health? But Coyote, uh, Stout was warning me. Or I can try to merge the cockroach after all. I don't know if the cockroach will work. I want to merge the cockroach with like a squirrel. It's over if I can do that. It's this one, right? It is. You freaking kid. I'll go. You can't put on a squirrel because squirrels are filler cards. Why are these here? Can't do the wolf cup because it will overwrite that whole ability that lets it evolve. Darn, bro. So these are the abilities I can imprint. Pork, I can't do this because I already upgraded her. What if I give an evolution ability to stout? Well, I can't anymore. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna get rid of Cockroach. <laughs> possum would be pretty smart. Cuz, anytime Possum dies, it's always gonna be losing a bone anyway. So I just always need one bone. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do Stout. Cuz he's only one sacrifice and he doesn't have an ability. We'll just do this. Yeah? Alright. You freaking asked me to. I really wonder what happens if you give him evolution. Frick, here comes a bot. This is the gold miner! What do we have to do for the gold miner? Make sure when you kill him that you underkill him. Unless you're the traitor. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. So he took out one of my lives? Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. He gave me the smoke? The incessant clang clang clanking reverberated between your ears. The path the head was blocked by a grotesque figure. He's not a... Twas the prospector! Okay, it's the same gold mining piece of crap! What the fuck? So the point of the pack mule is to block his empty zones. Okay, let's see this. What the hell is smoke? Bone King, when a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones. Are you joking? This is a great idea. Remember, don't overkill him. Don't overkill him. I should save the smoke. We just have to minor kill him right now. Wait a sec. Yeah, because he has two lives. God, he's so ugly. We have to think. I really have to think here. I have to kill him just right. Okay, I know what to do. I think I know what to do. It's so hard to not kill fully. It's really hard. You just... I really should just be trying my best. I don't know why I did what I just did. Mm. 
but I don't really have a choice. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna... This is really stupid, but I think I might wait a turn like this. I might be screwed. Okay, it's okay. I took two damage. It's fine. It's fine. So now I draw a squirrel. Right? We put squirrel here. I summon wolf. And I'm gonna kill that uh, coyote. Yeah. Damn, if only he took that damage too. Okay, see, everything's fine right now. So we have KC, possum, and two bones for the possum. So, what the hell are you doing? With that stick, you see him in the... Okay, hold up. Draw cub. Not you, bro. I should have got a squirrel. Frick. I'm gonna summon possum. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. So, let's attack. So I did damage to the pack mule. Oh, look! I was so happy that the coyote was back there. You just had to move, bro. It's okay, I can damage it. So I think we should draw a squirrel. Man, I really wanted that. I really wanted the cub. Coyote gonna appear, and Coyote can kill me in one hit. That's so effed. Unless I end him right now. The scales are even. Alright, you know what? We'll put Squirrel here. How many bones I have? Not many. We'll summon Bullfrog. Oh my lord. I freaking forgot already, bro. I don't want to overwin. That's why I'm holding on to the smoke in case I get screwed right now. So Possum gonna do one damage to you. You're gonna take three damage from Wolf, but then kill me next turn. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. If I I can kill him this turn, can I? How many is he down? I don't think I can. So draw Squirrel. I can definitely kill that coyote. If I put a squirrel right here, I can block damage, take two, but I'll deal one. I'm really just trying to stall. I also got the pack mule. I got, I got a bunch of garlics! I dang nabbing my uncle, my mule. I didn't know I would get something good for that. Frick, bro, what the hell is a mole? Borrower, first off, four health, no damage. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would be moved. Okay, so it's gonna block when I try to do something. I got a freaking elf alpha. What the hell is this? Leader, creature adjacent to the card bearing the sigil gains one power. Oh, goodness. Bro, none of these are even in my deck. I just stole them. Be careful, bro. Can I see this? This is weird. What if I get a squirrel and I just try to stall him? If that makes sense. So, you know, like I put a squirrel here and then what if I, and then what if I, what does Casey really do? Does she have two abilities? Sharp quills. Yeah. You can have two abilities? A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right. That's so overpowered. So what if I put a second squirrel here, then put Casey here? What if I attack? Is she going to attack all three of these? Casey's insane. Yo, I have no spots. There's gold in the... I'm going to lose everything. But look, that's why I made sure it was ass except for Casey. And the squirrel two health? Okay, frick. I, I have time to grow the freaking hound. So the hound makes it so I think if I summon a creature here, he can just teleport in front of it. That's what it sounded like. 
I have the smoke still. I have so many bones to summon alpha. Which, remember, will raise the adjacent card's attack. So, right now, I need the cub. And I need... More squirrels. I can't... I can't... I'm gonna say... Let's try to get... The cub. No! Oh, that's not too bad. I can't do anything. I just gotta end my turn. He about to screw me over. What was the point of all that crap? Okay, now we really have to think. You have three health. I gotta summon something. The scales are evened again. You can't sacrifice wolf pelts, right? That doesn't count as something. Bro, I'm kind of screwed right here. Well, I don't know how this just happened. Oh my, I'm gonna have to break. Wait, I do have an emergency squirrel, so give me the cub. No, what is this crap? Put like the freaking rabbit pelt here. Is that, is it gonna break? Like, I can't make it to the trader with that crap. I need to save my health. I just put the wolf pelt here. Why are you so mad? And then I'm gonna need that emergency squirrel. Put the squirrel right there. Now I'm gonna have to. Bro, I'm, this is a defensive turn right here. Wait. I might as well summon the raven and deal two damage. You can't sacrifice a rabbit pelt. That's so ass. I'm so screwed here. Look at this crap. Adder is here. I have so many bones. I need the cub. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. I already killed the mule. Okay, I'm effed. Are you ready for this? This is a lot of effed stuff going on here. <sighs> this is going to be really hard. It's so hard to figure out what to do here, but... Right now, it's still even, right? I have so many freaking bones. I can't remember what exactly my strat here was going to be. But I'm going to put the smoke there. Can I sacrifice the smoke? I could. Then I'm going to summon the alpha right here. What the hell was that? Which will raise you by one. I can kill the coyote now. That's all I can do, bro. And then I suppose I can sacrifice... Ooh! So many bones. Yeah, look at all my bones, bro. What can I even do with them? Now I can do two damage to you and kill the coyote. This isn't too bad. And I might have to pull some of my teeth. But I'm not gonna do that now. The freaking gold nugget can attack? No, it can't. Yes! Oh, it does one damage to him. I thought it does his teeth. Boo -hoo! What the hell's happening now? I really need the cub. I can't use the cub right now. No, I need a squirrel. Yep, I need a freaking squirrel. So we put squirrel here. Man, the squirrel's attack goes up by one, though. It's fine. We'll sacrifice and put the stoat right here. Now I have two attack. What do you mean? Okay. <sighs> Come on. This is so nerve wracking. Here we go. It's even. Wolf cub is coming. Why is wolf cub coming? What do I need right now? I might have to break open the black cheese. How much health does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't kill him unless I can do seven damage. I can do one, two, three, four, five, maybe. You know what? I know what to do. Draw squirrel. Play the squirrel right here. Now the squirrel does one extra. 
I'm the stupid. Well, I'm not that stupid. I was thinking I could kill the coyote, but it needs to be near the, near the alpha. Where are all my freaking bone cards? Oh, you dead, Wolf Club! You're so dead! No, this is fine. This is fine. What do I need now? Honestly? This is the Wolf Club right here. Yep, it's over for you. I'm thinking we sacrifice you for wolf cub. Now I can do two, one, and two. I can kill the wolf cub. I'm gonna take I'm gonna have to pull my teeth, but it's even right now. Just do it. That's fine. I'm freaking beating the prospector! Woo! I'm beating the prospector. I think I'm I screwed all his cards. He ran out of cards. This is incredible. Look at all them extra teeth! I beat the prospector! Yes! Allow me to light your candles on tomorrow. I won't be killing you quite yet. Yo, F you, bro. Could you, like, look somewhere else now? You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. I gotta admit, bro. I got confidence once Stout started speaking to me. Even though I already killed the mule. Choose carefully. You gotta pick by random? This is so Yu-Gi-Oh, bro! A poor abandoned child. What? That's a dragon. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Child 13. An uninspired gek. Perhaps you can find use for it? That's a really good card. It has one attack, no sacrifices. Strange larva. I have to get that. I have to get that. It, it, it evolves. It's a perfectly great moth. These are kind of hard to use. I'm going to take the strange larva. Woo! Yo, we beat it, my dudes. The, with the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Where's the Trader Joe's? Hmm. Is he going to pee? The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Yeah, what's wrong with this place? Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautious into the wetlands. My dudes, make sure you shank that like button. We beat that section of the game. Here's my... Hell, bro, I'm seeing his, like, freaking forehead now. He an alien? <sighs> Look at this. I didn't find a key. Shut up. Yo, by the way, guys, I didn't use the black cheese and I didn't pull my teeth. I was being careful. What the? Oh. oh, I thought he moved, bro. I don't know what to do about this, but I know if I try opening this, it's an instant game over. We're going to figure this out, my dudes. Shank that like button. We got a rare Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Let's see if we can get out of here.